directions on how to do home inspections using the Western New York School of Real Estate fillable forms. Number one, first download to your tablet and to your PC or laptop the latest version of Adobe. As of the spring of 2015, Adobe 11 was the most current. You also want to download the free Foxit, F-O-X-I-T, reader. We encourage you to use a printed version of your home inspection report so you know what information you should gather when you're out in the field. Then go home and try using your PDF fillable forms that you were given instructions on regarding how to access the file through the school website. Number four, after you're familiar with the information to gather at the subject property that you're inspecting, try using the tablet in the field. Number five, fill out everything you can and be sure that your tablet is fully charged. Number six, we also encourage you to utilize the Adobe-based cloud to facilitate communication between your devices. That's your tablet, your laptop, and your desktop computers. Number seven, if you haven't done so, be sure you have set up a Gmail account on your tablet, as it's typical on an Android device to do so in order to gain access to the Google Play Store, etc. Number eight, feel free to take pictures with your phone, tablet, or digital camera. It doesn't really matter. Do whatever you're most comfortable with. I use my phone. Then, with one swoop, I send all the pictures to my email that I can then convert when I'm ready to, and then the pictures are saved because they're in your email. Number nine, be sure when sending the pictures via email that you choose the smallest option available because your clients will not want to open up a large PDF file and you'll defeat the whole purpose of using this technology. In other words, when you're ready to send your pictures, this is the kind of box that you'll get and you'll see, if you can read it, that the message is really 1.5 megabytes. That's one picture is 1.5 megabytes with my iPhone camera. If you choose small, then you can make it as tiny as 28 and a half kilobytes. That's what I encourage you to do. Number 10. As I mentioned earlier, I like to use a tablet to fill out all of the information in the checklist part of the report and then I email my pictures and the form that I was working on in the field. When I'm at my desktop, I go to my email and I open up the latest version of Adobe as well as Foxit. Then I open the file I was filling out at the property. I scroll down to the picture area. When you click onto the email with the pictures, you want to download them and remember where you save them. You will also need to turn the JPEG or picture files into a PDF so they can be inserted into your report that you've been working on. Watch me go through some of these steps with you. So here I go to my email to gather a picture that I want to put in my report. This is a picture of a bathroom. I click onto it and I download it. I want it to go to my hard drive. I then open up the Foxit file that I have downloaded. I go to File in the top left corner. I click on Create in the top left corner. And then after Create, I will select From File. I click on From File, and it's going to ask me where is the picture that I downloaded. I will click on to Recent Places. Actually, Recent Downloads is better. Under Recent Downloads, here's the picture of the bathroom. I click on Open. Now you can see it's a big picture. I want to scale it down here so it's smaller, so it's 49, 
is about 49.5%. And then what I do is I minimize that. I open up the report that I've been working on. I scroll to the bottom. And here's where pictures are. If I click on, it asks me to browse. And when I browse, I scroll down and I look for different pictures that I've changed. Again, I'm changing pictures from JPEGs to PDFs. I click OK and there we have one picture. I'm going to click on to the bathroom picture that we just set up. So I click on the bath, and then I say OK, the bathroom picture goes in. I'm going to add the other two pictures. I say OK on my last one. Do OK. And here's a report. So now what we're going to do is look at a file that has no pictures and compare the size to a file that has pictures. The first file, we do a right click, we look at properties, and this one has no pictures. It is 1.74 megabytes. Now I'm going to look at the file we just made that has four pictures in it. The, pic the file that has four pictures in it is 1.89 megabytes. So you can see that uh, the pictures really don't add a lot to the megabytes if you do everything properly.